so okay hello students in last video we learned how to plot family of ovals and we saw a particular case where we plotted a rectangle right so today we will see how to plot ellipse right and next we will go to the family of spirals so please see the further video so today we will see how to plot ellipse which is a particular case of ovals okay so let us write first the equation what is the equation so we are going to plot ellipse this equation we will plot so let us first visit whether this equation so we saw many points in last video and we want to look whether what are the roots of this this equation means the point the points where the function becomes zero so here y is actually the function of x so we will look for those points x not where this function becomes zero so these are the roots this was this was the first point we look for to understand how the graph behave so here we see that y equal to so y equal, uh, y is equal to 1 minus x by a square square then square root then b when it will become zero the, when this y will become zero y will become zero when this particular case become this particular uh, object within the parenthesis become one because in that case this square root become zero so if x equal to a or x equal to minus a in both case y become zero so y at x equals to plus minus a is zero right so we know that right now that this equation this ellipse equation has two roots one at plus a one is at minus a so we know now the roots now we will look for what are the maxima and minima so we looked for roots so these are the roots we will look for maxima minima so how we look for how do we look for maxima minima so to look for maxima and minima we will do the take we will take the first and second derivative so let us take first derivative first dy by dx right so if you want to take the first derivative we will again write the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 so in this way dy by if we take take the derivative of this equation we will, if we take the derivative of this equation with respect to x this equation becomes 2x by a square plus 2y dy by dx by b square equal to 0 this is the first derivative of this equation with respect to x fine now so for maximum minima the first derivative must be 0 at some point so let us arrange we find the so this become minus x by a square this goes to that side and b square by y so at those point where this derivative become first derivative become zero the, that will be the location of maximum or minimum fine if we are not doing anything incorrect till now we send this to the right hand side that become minus x y a square and that that is divided right so this equation so if we want to look for maximum minimum this first derivative become zero at x not equal to zero where x not is maxima or minima point right so if you look if minus x not by a square b square by y equal to zero 
सिंस ए ए एंड बी आर नॉन जीरो पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट सो दिस दिस कॉन्स्ट दिस वी ऑलरेडी प्रपोज वेन वी वॉज वेन वी वर राइटिंग द जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ ऑल ऑवेल्स वी सेट दैट ए एंड बी आर द नॉन जीरो पॉजिटिव कॉन्स्टेंट्स फाइन सो दिस गिव्स अस दैट एक्स नॉट इक्व टू जीरो सो हियर वी गेट अ पॉइंट हियर वी गेट अ पॉइंट एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो वेयर this uh, gives the maxima or minima so this equation has mix maxima or minima at, at x not equal to 0 fine let us check whether it is a maxima or minima so we will take the second derivative so we will take second derivative from here so let us write second derivative d2 i by dx2 equal to dy dx minus x by a square b square by y fine so let us take out minus b square by a square outside and this is only x by y and d by dx so second derivative if we evaluate this this is minus b square by a square so we can apply the first and second rule or you can apply the divide rule for the differentiation so let us do the differentiation you can do with your own way how do you know to do this so i will take the first derivative with respect to x and we will leave y then will leave x and we will do the derivative of y so that will become minus 1 by y square dy by dx okay fine so this became minus b square by a square 1 by y minus x by y square and we know the dy by dx so dy by dx we already know that is Minus x by a square b square by y. This. So we simplify it a little bit so that we can look the easier easier form a simple form minus minus plus x square by y cube. X square by y cube b square by a square. D two y by d x two. Hi. Now we will see. So we want to look for maxima or minima, and we got the point x not equal to zero, which was saying us to that it is a maxima or minima. So we will check at x not equals to zero whether it is a maxima point or minima point. If the second derivative at x not comes out to be positive, then it this point will be minima. If the second derivative comes out to be positive, then this point will be maximum. So let us do that. So if we put this x not here, d to y by d x to y at x not equals to zero, this become minus b by a square one by y. So here we get this. Now you will. Say that, oh, this is coming out to be negative. That's why it is giving us maxima point. No. So this second derivative depends on y. So value of y will decide whether it is a maxima or minima. So if y is a positive, y is positive at some point. So if y is positive at x equal to zero. If y is positive, then it is a minima point. Sorry, maxima. This is a maxima. 
if at x not equal to 0 y is positive then this second derivative becomes negative and it gives us maximum. So, this is a case 1, case 2 is if at x not equal to 0 y is negative in that case this second derivative becomes positive and this point give us minimum. So, it is clear right now. So, the second derivative at x not equal to 0 depends on the value of y. So, if value of y is positive then it is min maximum. If value of y is min uh, sorry negative then it is a minimum. Fine. So, let us make some points on a x y axis. So, we saw that x equal to a and x equal to minus a these are the point where the root exists. So, here here these are the point where these are the point of root where y becomes 0. So, it says where y becomes 0 this means the graph intersect x axis at the, those points. So, graph intersect x axis x axis at x equals to minus a and at x equals to plus a. Also, there are two points on y axis where maxima and minima exist. So, when y is positive, some point y is some y naught uh, and this is some, so let us say y1, this is say y2. So, at this point maxima exist we saw here and when y is negative we saw a minima. So, here minima exists. So, this is the minima point and this is the maxima point. So, if it is maxima the graph will go like this right. Let me make with some different color. If it is a minima point then graph will go like this. If graph intersect at this point and is this point because these are the root means that these if we extend this these curves these this curve must go from these points let us see whether they go with this um, directly go to the, uh, with these two points or not we have to investigate the one more thing let us first investigate uh, find out what are the those points on y axis the coordinate of y1 and y2 what is the value of y1 and y2 so we know that at y1 and y2 curves attain maxima and minima also it intersect y axis so when the graph intersect y axis at those point x will be 0 so let us find the value of y1 and y2 by putting in the equation x equal to 0 so, equation of our, our equation of ellipse is this, we will put x equal to 0. So, when you put x equal to 0 this equation becomes, sorry 1. So, y equals to plus minus v, why not? These are the point where graph or you can say curve intersect the y axis and these are the points. So, here this is plus b and this is minus b. So, now we know what are the coordinate of x1, x2, y1, y2. We find out, we already found. Now, we look for whether, so we saw that there is only one maxima and one minima. We did not found find any other maxima minima. We saw that curve intersect x axis at only two points. We also saw that curve intersect y axis at only two points. Means that now the curve will not intersect any other point. These are the only four points where the x y are x y axis are intersected by the curve, right? 
now we look uh, so we will look whether the curve passes x axis how what is the slope at those points so we want to look for at x1 x2 what is the slope of the curve when it passes x1 and x2 it may also pass like this it may also pass like this so how do you know which way it passes the x axis so to confirm that we will find the slope of the graph at x1 and x2 to find the slope what we will do for we have the first derivative which is actually the slope and we will put the in that first derivative equation we will find that x derivative um, y um, slope dy by dx at x1 and x2 so what is the value of dy by dx we, we, we already find and that is this this is our slope equation minus x by y b square by a square so, so let us write dy by dx minus x by y b square by a square so this is the first derivative we want to evaluate this at x1 x2 so if we look if we want to evaluate at x1 so x1 is minus a so this become plus a by y b square by a square fine and and at this point the coordinate of y is 0 so x at x this point and these two points what is the coordinate so if you want y is 0 so y equal to 0 here y equal to 0 here minus b com this is 0 comma minus b this is 0 comma plus b and this is minus y minus a comma 0 this is plus a comma 0 so in this way we have four points and we want to find the slope at <coughs> minus a comma 0 and plus a comma 0 so we want to find the slope at a comma 0 so when we you want to find minus sorry minus a minus a comma 0 so if you want to uh, minus a comma 0 so if you put minus a uh, at place of x it becomes plus a because of this minus sign and this become and this is y actually so if you add in the place of y if you push 0 this become plus infinity fine if you find dy by dx at plus a comma 0 that will become minus a by 0 b square by a square and this become minus infinity so plus infinity and minus infinity what is the meaning of this when the slope becomes infinite this means that tan th and theta and theta is 90 pi by 2 and corresponding to this that theta is current minus pi by 2 fine we found the slope that graph is making plus 90 and minus 90 at the point minus a comma 0 and plus a comma 0 this means that graph passes the x axis perpendicularly so how it will pass it will pass like this perpendicularly it will make 98 in the x axis fine so in this way we saw this now it look like ellipse where it passes the x axis perpendicularly it makes the maxima at this point this is a maxima point this is a maxima point and these are the two points these are the two points these two black points are the points where the slope is infinity plus infinity and minus infinity and these two green points uh, you say these two points 
are the points where maximum and minima exist and only these are the only four points where the graph intersect the xi axis and there are no other points we found right so so we saw that this is an ellipse so in this way we can find we can draw any other general equation of uh, any other another any other special case of ovals so that's now till now we plotted rectangle ellipse and we can also plot the flag fractional power where the power can be 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 1 by 4 etc fine so in the next video we will learn how to plot family of spiral thank you very much